Tiramisu is actually really easy to make, despite maybe looking intimidating. I'm Sarah Ewald, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a banana peanut butter tiramisu. It looks like a lot of steps. It's going to be a mess, but I promise it's actually easy. You want to start with soft butter and sugar. So we're going to cream this until it's really fluffy. And then you're ready to add your eggs. And then you just want to mix this until everything's thoroughly combined. And then you have your flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And we're going to mash our bananas. You want to use bananas that have some brown spots on them because they're going to be more flavorful than bananas that are totally yellow. Now you want to mix your creme fraiche and vanilla extract in with the bananas. And then you want to add half of your banana. You just want to finish your cake by folding everything together. And then when you're done, just fold it up and tap the bottom and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So you want to pour your milk and cream into a pot, add half of your sugar. Whisk sugar, cornstarch, egg yolk together really well. And you're gonna take your milk and your cream mixture and you're gonna pour a little bit into that. You just pour it back in. If you can take your finger and run it through it and it will hold the line, you know that it's done. We're gonna add our peanut butter, salt, butter, and vanilla extract. And now you just wanna gently fold in whipped cream into your peanut butter pastry cream. So traditional tiramisus have espresso in them, but this one doesn't. But don't worry, there is rum. So you just want to take your sugar and you want to sprinkle it. It's easier to not burn your sugar by putting a little bit in at a time. It'll start to take on a golden color. We're going to pour the rest of our sugar over top. And we're going to add rum, peanut butter, and water to it. This syrup is going to give the tiramisu that nice boozy flavor. And then you're just going to put it aside and let it cool. So now that we've made all of our ingredients, we're going to use caramelized bananas, chopped up vanilla wafer cookies, and finish with some toasted peanuts. I like to serve it individualized, but you could totally serve it in a large format, in a large dish, a bowl, whatever you would like. And you're done.